Commander, no. No. Are you... Are you absolutely sure? S sir? <sighs> are you... Sir, I don't think we should do that. Be completely honest. No. No. Yes, sir. But... No, no, sir. Okay, Th thank you for letting me fucking decide. Didn't mean to curse, sir. Uh, excuse me. But yes. Thank you. And thank, thank you. It, mean, it means a lot. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bye. I guess I should uh, introduce myself. Oh, that was crazy. So, I'm uh, Commander Kearney. And we're in the year 2081. I've been asleep. <laughs> this is crazy. I know it's going to sound insane. I've been asleep for 60 years on this ship. And I just now woke up. And it's it's a lot of emotions. I want to cry sometimes, but I've only been awake for an hour, so it's just a bunch of emotions. Like it's it's a lot. But I just talked to my commander, and um, my colonel. I don't even. I'm, I'm just dizzy. I'm just distraught. I like we're obviously orbiting this planet, and it do, it doesn't look like Earth. I'm gonna be completely honest. It doesn't look a, like an Earth that I remember, at least. Like what the? It's like flaky, and there's no water. I, I, I'm just as confused as you are. So, I I went to sleep. So I'm getting emotional. I went to sleep in August, 2020. And they had, excuse me, had some sort of pandemic going on. Like, you're, you're better off getting this pod. It's a test. It's getting here. Go to sleep. And they they pretty much paid us 30, 30 grand to do this. But I don't know. I just I just woke up in a fucking spaceship. What does thirty thousand dollars equate to on a planet? that doesn't use U.S. currency. I just... I'm just lost. I'm just lost for words. I'm just lost. I don't know what to do. Um, do I... Do I go to work? Do I... What the... F what do you do? What do I, what do, I do? I used to bartend and write songs for people to make them and myself feel better. There's probably fucking robots that can do that now. 
That's, it's hard to it's hard to think about but the thing is instead of going to find that out I got on the fucking PC they put me in the capsule with and I begged them instead of going to get my shots I begged them I was like please just plug my PC up and let me just do a small podcast and they were like alright after that you're going to get your shots and you're going to you're going to find your grade what the fuck what what the fuck is a grade? Going to find your grade. Okay. So they let me do this. Apparently, 60 years ago, I volunteered for something in August of 2020. And now I'm here. But it's 2081. So something must have skipped a year. Because... It's it's August 2081 right now, so I, I can't explain it either. Nor am I gonna try to. I I don't know what happened. All I want to do is paint and see trees and I don't know. Shit is shit's weird. I don't know what going to make my grade means that's what they wanted me to do I have no clue what that means so here, here's the summary in August 2020 people guaranteed me a large sum of money to fall into a slumber for a little while It, it it wasn't a little while I mean it I could have I could have never woke up you know I could have I could have died that's true but at the same time where the fuck am I I'm looking out this window there's a planet I don't even recognize what it's it, it's a lot for me Put it that way. You wake up 60 years later from a coma that was not even induced by yourself. You'd be tripping too. So, I just... I'm, it's starting to set in. It's starting to set in. I'm going to go and see what they're talking about, about the grade, because that's what scared me the most. It's also scary that it's 2081, Earth is nowhere in sight, we're definitely not orbiting Earth. I'm very terrified. I'm dealing with this more, better than, better than I thought I would, you know? This is fucking crazy. So I'll be back. I'll see y'all soon.